can detect. Oh. Unless there's silent alarms. So, last time on Dragon Ball Z, you cleared out all the guards. Well, and, mostly the hobbits did. Um, by the way, how much and XP Rampage, do you all feel you all deserve for that? Uh, Five, six. 100 trillion XP. So, uh, I, I think that there were like let's go, let's go. six go goblins, right? No, there were 12. Uh, no, there were five on each side. So ten. So so each one of them was worth half. I'll I'll do the math afterwards. Yeah, we do it. We we get that all in the end. All yeah. right. Yeah. Let's go. So how, how about how about this? So there were ten of those orcs. And two hobgoblins. One hobgoblin. Right? Oh, one. One. Hobgoblin? Just one. One hobgoblin. One hobgoblin. Okay. Um. There you go. Okay, that sounds about right. Um, I'll have to calculate the XP later. With that, Archaeus, or Archaeus looks to you, Doctor, mm -hmm. and he's looking for approval to go ahead. And he, he said, shall we proceed as I planned? <laughs> I'm just sprinting over there. I'm just like. Let us proceed. I, I look how I look how he's looking through for, for approval, and the three of us have already walked off. Oh no, he's looking for <laughs> approval for something else. Um, he nods to the uh, two hobbits. Yeah, you guys might want to make sure the hobbits are on your side. And Archias takes two stones. And he starts sparking them. He, he kind of nods to himself that this is going to work. And um, they take the lighting beaking tower for activating the alarm. And they knock it over. And you see Archaeus throw some herbs. Some weird plant fiber that you haven't seen before. And he sparks it up. Lighting up what was originally meant to be for a beacon fire, but now it's kind of been spread out onto the grass. And it's lighting up a beautiful fire. And with that, Archaeus says, get it. And they pull out this metal... It's almost like a handle with a pipe at the end. Mm -hmm. So it's like a pipe with a handle. Mm -hmm. And they put, they put it into the fire. And they wait a while... And then they take it to the tower, and on the door on the left, the two metal um, doors leading up, he, they put them between the handles, and then the two hobbits take out hammers and start hammering the metal rod. You can tell the purpose of this is to, is to prevent anyone from up, up, upstairs in the dungeon to come down leaving only the way down into the actual prison dungeon accessible. Does this uh, make I'm sense? okay with that. So basically mm -hmm. making sure that, that no one can get out very easily. Okay. And then he looks to the two hobbits wearing red and says, prepare the area for our exit. And with that, they take a nod and they begin preparing something. And Archaeus comes to comes to you, Doctor, and says, Okay, now we're ready. Let's go. Okay. Fire kite? What what uh -huh. what is the green dude there? What oh, is he doing? Okay. Archaeus tights. So Dan, I, I would suggest to Dan that either you or me walks walks in first. Yeah, I'll go first. You had better luck with the bow than I did. But these are going to be probably tight hallways, so... Yeah, they will be. It'll probably be more useful if we let uh, Rampage choose the bow. Mm-hmm. True enough. Mm, uh, narrow. So, DK, uh, is there more than one floor to this? Uh... Maybe we'll see. Logic, right? logically, Let's... there is, but sorry, sorry. I let, let, let am only. Do there's... Let, let me rephrase that. Do those stairs go any farther down? And will I have to worry about anything coming out of those stairs? Okay, so 
we're going to agree that I that yes, it would be there would be normally more to this, but for the purpose okay. of not taking ten thousand years, we're going to conceal everything down to one floor, and we'll just say the other floors aren't accessible right now, just for the purpose okay. of everyone's sanity. Thank you. That's very Thank helpful you. for my sanity. Thank you. Here you go. For some reason, the doctor didn't want to come down here. <laughs> Is my character not willing either? M Mr. B, are you afraid of the dark? Nope. Just making sure that the rampage gets it. And uh, I, I should be able to lead everyone along... Can I ask, is that a door? In front of y'all, yes, that is a door. That's a key. So, why, 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 can, why can we see light around the doors? Um, those are meant to be, like, kind of like the areas but between the... It, it's not... It, it's, it was constructed by the forces of darkness. They're not known for good construction quality. They're gaps. So they're just, like, holes in those walls? <laughs> they, they, the, the foundation has, has settled a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Well, I, I definitely see some uh, orcs and uh, what looks like a hobgoblin back there. So, uh, Dan, here, here's my plan, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, we need to do a knock-knock joke. DK. DK. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Actually, you know what? DK, do the orcs understand, uh, Calvin? Um, yeah. They, they yeah, understand sure. Westrun. Huh. Do uh, you know what? Do any of us have that? I I, I don't think anyone doesn't have yeah, that. Yeah, between all of us. Is that just that. common? I think Westron or at least well, is I, I the equivalent of a common. Well, no, it says Westron and the common tongue. So. Okay. I'm pretty sure that. I like a, I, I I'm like pretty sure Westron is generally the language that everyone pretty much understands, to a certain degree. Unless you're mean and terrible. Can, can you make me slightly smaller? I feel like I'm a giant. Well, um, it's because you're a giant. Question. I have a question. Mm. I know. <laughs> What's so that? Would, so, this, Dan. would this be counted uh -huh. as a dark area? What's up? Is Would this be counted as a dark area? Uh, no. There are... T the areas... Well... It, it is, there's no natural sunlight, but there are torches. Um, the reason okay. that you can't see the whole dungeon yet is I'm doing this height, the whole idea is that you have to open the door and then reveal what's on the other side. Okay. If that makes sense. I just wanted to know if it's a dark area. So, DK, uh, this, this right here is a door, right? What's up? This um, right here is a door? Uh, No. That that's a sample door. <laughs> oh, okay. Basically, it's the door. Oh, I'm joking. It's the door you opened when you walked when you came in. Oh, those are the stairs. Okay, that's the yeah. door to the stairs. Yeah, I just automatically left that open because there was no disadvantage not to. Right. So, uh, so, so Dan, what? I I feel I feel that we should do a knock knock joke. I think uh, that would be our oh. best course of action. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll knock. You, you stand to one side of the door. I'll stand to the other, and I'll knock. Okay. And then if they if they ask who's there, we'll hey, start making stuff um, up. Sorry, Mr. B, up. do you mind hitting your um, checking your hit points on your character sheet? I know this. He is thirteen. Uh, it dropped because you dropped me in. Yeah, for some sometimes the wounds don't stay. So. Yeah, we got it. All right. That's why I asked. Okay. But mine, it's mine stayed. I know they did. Arceus has stayed. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, DK, I have a DK, I have a question. What's up? Do you know who Fourth Thog Orc Slayer is? No. Okay, then you won't get this joke if I, when I make this joke. <laughs> Red steel and Dan, uh, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to correct your hit points. Oh, never mind. Maybe they came. 
Yep, they came. Same for me. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I can see Rampage's hit points. <laughs> cool. Uh, I can't see next. Dent's barb. I can't see Dent's barb. is just in the black. Hit. Yeah, it was just hidden by the blackness. <laughs> that was the problem. The dark foreboding wall. <laughs> no one can see past the wall. Dan, I can't see your hit. Oh, never mind. It's just bleeding into the wall. <laughs> so, uh, is one of the, just be honest. Is one of these um, is is one of these gonna be a mini game where we play Pac-Man? No. Walk, 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 walk. Well, walk, 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 you'll, walk, you'll be walk, playing a different version of, of of that game, definitely. Okay, Yay! so Barrigal, Barrigal's hit points were, were wrong for some reason. Why are they wrong? Oh. Okay. That's troublesome. The game just, like, removed all of his hit points from his character sheet. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Let me go fix that. Give him 10 hundred million hit points. I'm pretty sure he has... I, I think he probably has 30. I mean... Most of the NPC characters they create do. Okay, Dan, okay. you want to start this joke? No, Rampage, go back. <laughs> Rampage, you, you, you want to stay farther back because you're a ranged character. I'll, I'll stay all the way over here. That, that might be a bit too far back. No? Let's see, What what is the distance here? Well, at, th at that point, you're just going to start hitting me, rather than the <laughs> You're saying that's a bad thing? <laughs> yes. I, I do find it annoying when Rampage shoots me in the back. Oh, but he, he... But it's good for your health, though. It's good for your health. How else okay. can he heal you without his heal bow? No, no. What happens it's not how is it works. the, the it's arrow not how pierces works. into your back and goes... And breaks oh. every bone in your in your stomach area, and then it it heals it because there's nothing in there. That's how it works. <laughs> so Beerigol has thirty nine hit points. Okay, Dan, are you are you ready to do this joke with me? Uh huh. Okay, come stand next to the door with me. Knock, knock. Okay, ready for this? What's that now? It's, it's, it's Thorthog. Thorthog who? Thorthog Orc Slayer. And then I'd like to kick in the door. Okay. Here y'all go. Okay. May, may I now attack? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I think can... we may have confused them. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. we Sorry, get, we on, get advantage. Yeah. We confuse them, we get advantage. Oh, you know, we have to roll for initiative, probably. Yep. Also, how dark is it? Do these guys get advantage now? Or... Yes. yes, they do. Oh dear. There's no natural sunlight. Okay, my initiative's 17. Okay, Dan, your initiative is not nearly as good as last time. Nope. <laughs> I'll just wait till the end, you know, after everyone else is gone. Okay, if we go down one, there's a little crack. There is a hobgoblin. Uh, you can go that way. I think the rest of us should go to the north. What do you think? I don't know. Uh, All I know is there's a hobgoblin. How about we Person? go to these guys in front of us first? Personally, no, we can uh, choose him. We can walk by, right by him. What's up? Personally, I have to agree with Mr. B. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? We can just walk right by him. There, just show us how it's done. We'll follow you. Oh, you, you, you want me to show you how it's done? No, no, no. Yeah. Rampage. Rampage uh, can okay. show us. Yeah. 
Yeah, r- rampage. Just feel free. Walk, walk, walk right past them. See if they'll attack you. Okay. <laughs> you know, what, D- DK. DK, can, can we can we make this joke more than once? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> See, look, I walked right by them. Well, there are more doors. I walked by them oh. like three times. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Nick, uh, you get to go first. Okay, uh, do I get advantage for surprise or anything? Oh, yeah, definitely. Right now, you're in surprise. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm going to hit them with my longsword. Alright, try it. I'm not sure that that's enough to, uh, pass their armor class. Okay, you're hitting the... the Misty Melton. I'm hitting right? the... yeah. Okay, so the, uh, as far Pretty as my sure. character sheets are concerned, that is the Meow Goblin, who has 14 mm-hmm. armor, so no. Okay. Not quite good enough. That's disappointing. Alright. Doctor? Or I, me? I, I don't even know that I can not do anything, because the path is kind of blocked. So I... I yeah, um, no, you can't. I, you could I, come stand. You could come stand right behind me and dance so that you and heal us you. if you needed yeah. to. I'm I'm actually <laughs> going to do a small cheer right now. Oh, okay. nice! Just encouraging my fellow adventurers. Go kill the bad guys. Actually, uh, Mr. B, you follow. can. You do actually have a ranged attack with your dagger. Once. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I would hit one of them. <laughs> I mean, you could probably say, "Everyone out of the way," and like maybe they'll like dodge out of the way. Eh? Yeah, no, 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 just 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 come up right behind me and use my shoulder as like a as like a place to rest your elbow as you throw it. (laughs) (laughs) We we might have to, you know, if we roll the dexterity against, you know, being able to navigate that path and. Do that, I might bump into you and push you into the guy. So we'll we'll just uh, hang back. I, I don't think I don't think DK would make you roll a dexterity check for moving. <laughs> so you, Nick can't see my giant smile. <laughs> well, sorry. Let me rephrase that. He wouldn't make a dexterity check for you moving in this case. I'm going to stay out of the rampaging elf's way. Alright. Um, with that, just before Rampage goes, um, Dan, you feel a, a tap on your shoulder. Uh-huh. And it, it's the hobbit. He reached my shoulder? He, yeah, he's, he hopped up your, and kind of tapped the your shoulder. Your he's going to say, <laughs> in, uh, he's, he, he's motioning to you, he's going to go underneath you. <laughs> I'll step to the side, let him through, squish up no, against no. the wall. He's gonna go no, under no, no, your legs, put, just... and uh, you hear him say, "Hey, orc! What has four fingers and a thumb, but is not living?" And the orc's like, "Huh? A glove!" And he punches the orc. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Actually, that's clever. I didn't think of that one. I'm going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the orc has hit the other orc. And, um... <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> bong, bong. Bing, bing, bong. Uh, with so that, they, they just uh, did this weird ping-ponging thing? Yeah. Well, uh, unfortunately, yeah, they, they kind of fell over on each other because of the close quarters. Uh, Rampage, it's your turn. I want to just run up behind Nick and jump on his shoulders and then go Mario on all of them and kill them. <laughs> all right, so uh, Rampage, I need you to roll me a acrobatics check. Oh, my gosh. One? 
Um, so I got a seven, yeah. <laughs> so Nick. No, I use a fake point. Come, oh, I use a no, fake. You already used that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you've already used that one. Um, so uh, Nick. Uh, Rampage comes up, he jumps on your shoulders, but for some reason your knees give and you kind of crouch and you cause him to roll over into the uh, orcs. I was trying to go Mario. <laughs> it's like, well, you didn't give me any warning for this. I wasn't exactly prepared. <laughs> there we go. Um, with that said, Dan, it's your turn. <laughs> well, after all this excitement, you know what I want to do. Uh, I guess I have to move forward some just to try to reach the orcs. And you save me. And, uh... No, no, no. I, I think, you know, you can handle those two on the left, I'll, or on the south, and I'll take the one on the north. That would work, so roll for damage. I hit one. Yeah. I'm so proud of yeah. In fact, let me double check. They only have seven hit points. That, that you, you took it out. So which one you hit the one in front of you, right? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Uh, with that it's now um Arche Archaeus' turn. And he's just going to take one step forward. And then he's going to look to the doctor and says, perhaps we should have brought a tea set. <laughs> With that, it's Nick's turn. Okay. Uh, what about the... D DK, can I, can I sort of shuffle... Oh, oh, well, you had surprises, that remember? Was... Okay. That's it. I sort of shuffle past here and move into this corner here. All right, uh, you actually need to roll a check to actually do that. Okay. Uh, is there any way to move past Rampage without having to roll anything? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I guess I'll have to roll then. Okay. What am I rolling here for? That's what I'm going to figure out real quick. Um, I think it depends on what you want to do. If you want to pick him up and swap places... It'd probably be something strength oriented. Uh, I, I think I'm just gonna kind of shuffle past him, so that would probably just be straight dexterity. I'll let you attempt a either athletics check or acrobatics check. Yeah, it's probably athletics either way. Well, I guess we're not uh, strength. I, I was gonna I, let. I was gonna like. You're trying to occupy the same space. It's relatively tricky. Yeah, to me, the only reason I go with acrobatics is because that's a dexterity check, and that's kind of like dexterity's, like... I, I I got a 20. Not a natural 20, but... Okay. You're still rolling advantage. Oh, but, okay, yeah. Well, I got a 15 at the very least, so... That, that's fine. That, that, that was a success. Okay, so you manage... You take a breath, and you just squeeze past Rampage. Almost like someone okay. buttered you up. Okay, I, I'd like to hit the orc in front of me with my longsword. Alright. Um, Don't kill me. Because you are in a squeeze compressed space, you're going to be rolling at disadvantage. Okay. Okay. I, I trust in my skills and the dice. But mostly just the dice. So 11. Yeah. That's Did he not hit enough me? to hit him. Good. Uh, with that said, uh, it's now the doctor's turn. See, Rampage, this is why you don't move into melee range <laughs> as the archer. He Are was just trying sword? to do a Legolas, you know, maneuver. No, this is why I, this, I was trying to Mario them and go all Mario and jump on them. You wanted to bounce on their heads. But you, Turn you them into Rampage, don't forget, they have armor they got but spiked I, I armors. Can get, I, I can bounce on them. You can't then bounce I'll, on spikes, though. Then yeah, I'll you just, just get hop on Nick and then hop onto the hobgoblin. And then... Uh, and then, you get a, and then, then you, he'll then you drop a thing. shell, and then I throw the shell at the other dude. I just yeah. move up closer, okay. and I've got my knife drawn. Okay. 
Um, Rampage, it is your turn again. I want to do a diagonal roll here. Okay, uh, roll me acrobatics then. Before you roll <laughs> over there. It's 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 a success. I don't think so, actually. That's, <laughs> that's that's actually a really bad roll. Um, considering all the bonuses you get. Uh, that's better than the first one. Hey, rampage! <laughs> roll me a one d one hundred. Okay. <laughs> Thirteen. You you rolled here. Where did I roll? <laughs> well, I, I got complaining. I think that might be. I think now we just get flanking bonuses. Um, but you don't get to attack this turn because basically, you when you rolled, you ping ponged on the orcs, and while you did arrive there, you ride with your back turned to the orcs. But you know. At least I escaped, and they yeah, that's good. That, that is a good more point. Um, okay, so my whole, Dan, my pretty much Dan. my whole goal with that uh -huh. was to give Nick more room. I kindly so he request can... that you help me. Uh, the hobbits. Okay, okay. well right. we have to figure out when the uh, orcs are in the turn order because they get to go this time, right? Oh yeah, uh, they, I'm gonna to... make them wait till after all of y'all have gone before I let them go. I'm just giving you the full effect of surprise because of how funny your joke was. Well, you still got Hobbit. It's like, who are you? Forthog. Forthog who? Forthog! Oh, slay. Kicks in the door. <laughs> so, um, the, the Hobbit's gonna move. He's gonna take, he's gonna sidestep. And he's gonna go, Hobgoblin! What jumps higher than a town? Hobgoblin looks at him and says, what? Everything! Towns don't jump. <laughs> and he's gonna make a double <laughs> attack on him? <laughs> Okay, you you, sh you should make the party answer the uh, the one riddle that was really hard. I might. <laughs> okay, yay! With advantage, he definitely made that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's. Oh, that's a hobgoblin though, so he's got more health. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna do a quick thirty-three. How much health does a hobgoblin, ac a hobgoblin actually have? Thirty-three. Oh wow. That's why. That's why I had him go after it. I have to pull up my calculator because uh, I'm bad at math. You know what? I feel. I feel like this would be stupid, but I also feel like this would be funny. All right. Dan, if I told you, if I if I told you I had a stupid idea that may involve kicking an orc through a door, would you approve? <laughs> I am Dan, and I approve this message. <laughs> because uh, okay, Dan, we could turn. throw the hobgoblin. We could throw the hobgoblin into the other hobgoblin. I'm going to go you for the little orc. At the moment, Dan, Dan, I want you to Dan. Can you do me a favor? Can you kick oh. that orc? Oh yeah, through that, the that door next to him into that, the next room. That's a hit, Dan. Did you? Want I will try that get... next time, or we could try. Are you attacking him from where you are, or? Yes. Are you are you hitting the the squished um, orc? I suppose he's squished. He's yeah, he's the little guy. Okay. With the spiky shoulders. Well, uh, fourteen definitely gets through his. I th I think his armor is fourteen, right? So yes. Um, so. That roll for damage. Not as good as last, but at least I blinked him. Yeah, um, let's see. He's got three hit points left. Okay. Oh, you know what? This works a lot better if I put a maximum in there. Yeah, that part, that'll get him a little health bar, too. Which you all might <laughs> appreciate having. Uh, yeah, we might, actually. Um, alright. I believe it is now Goblin, turn one. So you know, the I hop goblin or the other dude does not 
recognize that I was there and does not turn around and does not one hit me. Alright, it's going to perform Nimble Escape. Okay. Uh -huh. And... It has performed the Nimble Escape. Um... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know where it's escaping to. Yeah. <laughs> Has it escaped to nowhere? I don't know. There's not, there's not exactly a whole lot of space there, but yeah, you know, orcs and their secret passages and stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. But uh, you know, he could have also just jumped straight over me and be standing in front of Mister B, or he <laughs> could just be standing directly in front of me. Uh, the hobgoblin, I think, is going to. I'm trying to think of what it horrible thing should it attempt to do. Um, I think a it's, single. I think I think he's going to retaliate on the Hobbit that was attacking him, <laughs> being the more wisest thing to do. The more wisest. Actually, it doesn't have disadvantage anymore because it's not in the darkness. I forgot about that. Uh, that's fine. So it got a 14. Uh, well, I guess it would be a 13 regardless, right? Um, yeah. All right. So I guess we get to figure out what beer goal the Hobbit's armor is. It's 14. So he shugs it off. <laughs> that's the end of Orcs, turn one. So Nick, your turn. DK, how difficult would it be to uh, just slam that hobgoblin through the door to the west? I th uh, you would have to perform a strength test, and you would have to perform it against his strength. Okay. I don't know what his strength is, do I? Uh, no, you do not. You could maybe ask someone in your party if you'd like. Yeah. Hey, doctor. Do you know what this hobgoblin's strength is? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> is he stronger than I am? <laughs> yeah, let me look. Um, by the way, Go doctor... On. Oh, okay. Uh, wow, you, you rolled medicine? Yeah. Wouldn't that be shadow lore? No. No. Just looking at his uh, anatomy. Okay. Right. Um, so so, so the hobgoblin's going to I'll sit right there back. and let you analyze it. Um, you you think that um, Nick oh, and I the hobgoblin so are on equal on on equal layers of strength? I'll take those odds. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to slam that hobgoblin through the door. The other thing, DK, it's going to be hard for him to resist because he doesn't know I'm coming. Uh, so, okay. am I rolling at normal advantage or disadvantage? You're just gonna roll normal. Okay. Uh, am I about to roll just a straight? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, I did pretty shitty. Let's see if that hobgoblin does any better. It won't. It won't. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, there you go. Oops. He overpowers no, you! And, Nick, I need you to roll me a 1d100. Okay. Actually, how does he overpower me from facing the other direction? Uh, Actually, you, you know what you, I want. You, you sure. pushed, but you kind of slipped. <laughs> and then he just kind of grabs you, and now he's going to throw you. All right, so there you go. I got a 59. Throw you through the door into the other room. <laughs> yeah! I want to know which door he's going to throw me through, honestly. <laughs> uh, he throws you through that one. Okay. I actually have to reveal this room now. <laughs> oh, to be honest, this this achieved pretty much the same goal. <laughs> also, uh, can you roll me a one d ten, Nick? Sure. I assume that's how much damage I'm going to take. 
Ooh, nice. Oh, you roll a three? All right, you yeah. take one wound. Okay. I will update my character sheet. How much health do you have, Nick? Uh, I, I would really like to see this room, though. Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to do that right now. Uh, whenever that's possible. <laughs> It's a hallway. It's an empty hallway. It's boring. No, that's good because well, it's bad and good because we it, don't. It get feels any weird XP. having darkness going through the door. <laughs> All right, with that, uh, it doctor, it's your turn. All right. Um. Hang on, hang uh, on. By the I way, uh, Doctor, I need you mm -hmm. to roll a perception check. This I can do. There may or may not be an orc in front of you. Yeah. Dice is you feel like something was there, but you're not sure. Was where? You feel like something had moved past you, but you're not 100% sure. But you feel oh, like something's okay. breathing on you. It's it's behind you. Attack! <laughs> Lash out with your stick. Lash out with the stick. If it's behind me, the Archaeus would, or whatever his name is, would uh, see it. I'm wondering if it's the little elves. Hey, maybe it's a dog. I know you're uh, missing Archaeus that dog. Archaeus hasn't had a chance to roll his perception check. He will though. Hey, Mr. B, where's your dog? He's upstairs with the with the hobbits. Uh. So what do you want to do, Doctor? Why didn't you bring him? He could bite our oh, enemies. There's not a whole lot to do. I'm waiting for them to, you know. So you want to skip your turn? Yep. All right. Arcanus is going to roll his perception check now. I don't need to. Instead of opening up his character sheet, I opened up his, a letter that he wrote. <laughs> 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 not, not very, uh, not as useful as one would expect. Uh, yes, I, I would have to agree. Hey guys, what would be an awareness check in this game? Perception. Perception, Perception okay. Guess what skill Archaeus is really bad at? Perception. Perception. But still not too bad. His perception's one. <laughs> really? Yeah. Does he not have any wisdom score? Perception doesn't use wisdom. Yeah, it does. It doesn't? Perception is wisdom. Then he must have a deep up to wisdom. Any of his, um, if he's any. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. His wisdom is one. <laughs> wow. Well, it's plus one. So yeah, it, uh, his intelligence, though, is what he has a lot of. It, yeah. It's wisdom is not really his, his strong suit. He did still do pretty well. Um, That's a good roll. And with that. He turns and says, Doctor, behind you! And he's going to make a attempt to attack something behind you. Hey, Nick. Yeah? Remember all that asking about uh, whether or not something could come in behind us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. But uh, actually, this is just the orc we were fighting earlier, not... Uh, whatever, Manushed. whatever it was, he didn't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was the poison knife. Uh, I with have a that, <laughs> um, <laughs> it is rampage. I so I just want to walk over here and shoot the hobgoblin. Just attack it with your sword. 
Yeah. It serves as nothing. Nothing. To, you can't. You don't know, have a clear line of fire. So take a look at You're not even gonna be able to get there. I have walk to walk through. through. I walk through. Yeah, yeah. You have to walk, walk straight through his no, no, battle. Just attack, just attack it. <laughs> Where were you? It's a short Rampage. page. Where was Rampage? Short. I was right. He was, he was right here. Okay, if you want to do that, he gets a free attack on you, though. Okay, I'm just gonna attack him. Okay. Uh, do you want to move to a place where you're way. not as crunched? Yes. Okay. How about but that? I'm there. Yeah. You, as long as you stay within his zone of control, he doesn't get a free attack on you. Okay, so. You can hit him with your sword. Oh, wow. That was a lucky hit. Hey! I did something! Push the button! Push the button. And then? He has yep. nine hit points Push left. All... Push all of the buttons. Why his attacks are so high? It's because he has a massive dexterity. Mm. Yeah, the sorcerer yeah, is using huge... his dexterity bonus. And then he gets a dexterity how, bonus to his damage. I don't know how he is such, like, a, I don't know how he has a dexterity of six, because that, that's got to require, like, a no, score. It's a, of, it, there's, a plus, there's a plus two as well because of the proficiency rating. Yeah. Uh, okay. I only have a bonus of four. Yeah. Wow, so, so Rampage has 18 dexterity. That's amazing. He's a beast. So the Hobgoblin only has 9 hit points left? Yes. It was good. With that, um, I believe um, our good old Hobbit friend will hit him as well. Knock him out! Knock him out! Knock him out! <laughs> And um, with that, um, Beargle says, Hey, orc, how many apples grow on trees? And the orc, is, the hobgoblin's really confused by this. And Beargle says, oh, All apples grow on trees! As he hits in for his multi attack. <laughs> <laughs> this hobgoblin likes for it. Uh, this uh, hobbit likes riddles. And that will kill the hobgoblin. Yay! Dan, your turn. Dan, you should go kick in the door. Door to the south side. Uh, Dan, I'd like to take a note that the reason that y'all are still in combat is because there's still a creature. Just, just want to point that out. I say we. I. This is what I think. We should go and. I, 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 say, I say we let Mr. I say we let Mr. B and Arceus take care of it, and we just kick that door. In. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna walk over there. You no, know? Rampage. It's not your turn. Yeah. Rampage, go back to your spot. It's not. I'm your sorry. Turn. I I I clicked on him while he was moving back. Uh, Dan. So what do you gotta do? He is going to be in deep thought. Dan. Dan. Dan, we we cannot hear you as of current. Uh, we hear. I, I guess we could skip Dan's turn until he comes back. Uh, I, 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 I will say hello. <laughs> Alright, so with that said, um, while we wait, um, Doctor, you're about to be attacked by something. 
Okie doke. Oh yeah, I forgot about that hidden enemy. <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh, and it totally has advantage. <laughs> well, that's nice. Of course it has advantage. The doctor can't see it. Um, so it, it's going to unsheathe its bent sword and attack with that. It's apparently a failure. <laughs> How much armor do you have, Mr. V? Eleven. Okay, so suddenly you see this um, goblin come out of the darkness, and you manage just kind of like avoid it. You're not actually sure that um, his weapon was all that sharp. <laughs> kind of bounced off my armor, I guess. Bang. You're pretty sure that you were easily able to deflect it. And when. Uh, it it hit his armor and it went bang because the sword vibrated. Uh, with that, uh, Nick, your turn. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to. Uh, um, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to move the other way. Uh, I, I would like to move down here. Uh, and and then. Uh, DK, am I am I able to move over here? Is that something uh, I can only do? with an acrobatics or athletics check. I'm not going to bother then. I'm just going to come up here, uh, and I'd like to knock on this door. Why? And, and you hear something. You hear heavy breathing. Okay, I, I I'd like to kick in the door. I'm a sound effects maker. <sighs> that is the sound of the heavy breathing. I, I'm going to wait to do anything until I finish. Okay, there we go. Now I can see things. Uh, DK, may, may I attack them with my sword? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, we'll just be rolling a normal Actually, I don't think you can reach them with your sword, actually. Uh, am, I, am I not quite close enough? You're ten feet away from I them. think it... Oh, uh, well... Uh, I guess... It feels like this spot is like a door, so wouldn't I be, like, right here because I kicked the door in? Uh, you know what? That's fine. I'll let you have it. That's alright, you know didn't make I it... I don't oh, even... oh, hold on. I think you made it through the Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin has less armor than the regular orcs. For whatever reason. Okay. So let me double check that real quick. I think they only have 12. They do. Okay. So roll for damage. Oh, well. That's an easy number for me to calculate. Nice. <laughs> 11 damage. Okay. Uh, Doctor, apparently Nick has created two more hobgoblins for you to fight. <laughs> Do you want to hit the misty orc in front of you? Doctor? Doctor! Hang on. Yeah, I'm here, sorry. Um, okay. Is, is Dan still missing? Dan is still missing. Alright, so I guess I'm going to attack this here whatchamacallit? Misty Orc? <laughs> Goblin. Yeah, well, he's actually a Misty Mountain Orc. Oh, wait. No, don't. Just got that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think well, we want to attack with the belt dagger. <laughs> Why are you attacking with oh, my character shade? Here. Oh, that was so close to a 20. Oh, wow, it actually was too. I made a valiant effort. And you know, you know that right thing off. has like 14 armor, right? Mm -hmm. So I made a valiant effort. Alright. Um, How much does a hop goblin have? Uh, Archaeus is going to try stabbing it with a uh, knife. 
<laughs> I think that worked, didn't it? How much? Yeah. Armor does a hobgoblin have? He's uh, got a very. Oh, I guess he's oh, twelve. Hobgoblins yes. have uh, twelve, and okay. Misty Mountain orcs have fourteen. Got it. It's weird how the weaker one and the one with less health. I think um, I think maybe that balances it out. Uh, so this takes one damage, and on its next turn, it takes uh, two one d four damage. Nice. So next turn, it dies regardless. Nice. It, it, will, it probably won't even have time to do things. It'll probably just be dead. Nice. Rampage, it's your turn. Okay. I want to go. Uh, I w I would like to go here. Actually, Rampage, you probably find out a way you can draw your bow and shoot. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what my plan is. He doesn't is. want to get so, hit by the multi attack. Yeah, so I want to go up here, and then I want to fire at at the hop at Which this one? hop goblin. Oh, hold on. This one or th yeah, that one oh, right here. This one, okay, go for it. Hold up. I I think I should use my best arrow. Good idea. That's a hit. Roll for damage. Okay, sweet. And then damage. Get high, get high. Oh. <laughs> Dude, yes. Yeah. He has 21 hit points left. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Rampage. You did one more damage than me. <laughs> With that, yeah. it's now Dan's no turn again. Dan, what would you like to do? <laughs> I would like to stay here and do nothing. You know what? I'm going to have Dan shoot with his arrow. I feel like he'd be more inclined to move in and attack with his sword, though. He would attack with his sword. The only reason I don't wasn't going to move him in was because... It's because of the Hobbit. The Hobgoblin, the Hobgoblin hits so hard... And also, I'm trying to shoot. Well, the Hobbit would probably be more effective at close range than he would anyway. You could always have him go attack that other goblin -y thingy that's attacking us. Um, the other, the that, other advantage gonna, of him hitting there is that that actually allows him to be in a position. Dan right now is in a position in which he can stop the Hobgoblins from um, attacking, getting behind you. Because r right now they have okay. Sorry. super... I'm back. Oh. Oh, cool! We were hey! talk discussing what you're, you should do for your turn. Okay, Dan. Uh, so you've gone through two turns now. This is your second turn. We we just skipped Don't you the first time. Yeah, you'll need to, you'll need to move closer, Dan. I I'm trying to shoot them. Uh, are you, you sure you wanted to use your sword, and not try for your bow? Um, quite actually, never mind. Um, not doing that. <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, there was a friend back here. Well, yes, he's going I'm to, trying th to... That, that goblin's he's going, going to die. He's going to die of poison. Yeah. Oh. Arceus okay. stabbed him. He's been and... poisoned. He's going to die. Yeah, next turn. Regardless. There's no stopping that. Because uh -oh. remember, the uh, goblins have the multi-attack. Mm-hmm. Well, if I, I use my sword, then I get my shield. Oh, yeah? So... That will yeah, be that's what I'm doing. beneficial armor okay. class wise. Okie dokie. I just want to make sure. You did it. Roll for damage. Um, the the hobgoblins have less armor. He has eleven hit points. Nice. He has been weakened by me and you. I, I totally Damn. forgot to have the hobbit do anything. Um. Unfortunately, the Hobbit can't sneak past y'all, so I guess he's just gonna wait in reserve. I mean, he could open he up could the other go door or something. Legs again. Well, he could try going <laughs> here, but technically, technically, that's like half a spot. <laughs> Which is enough for an arrow to fly by, but not anymore. All right, you know what? Maybe he'll just stand. He's gonna stand over here. That way he's not blocking Rampage's shot. 
It would, it would be a risky shot. So how does this work? Is it just risky, or is it a disadvantage, or... What now? Uh, that's shoot how... Into combat. That's how it, that's how um, it would be. To like be honest with the, you, looking at this, there's like a five feet space between uh, you and Nick, so I don't see why Rampage would be... To, to be honest with you, I think it would only hit you as if he missed very heavily. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No, I was just asking if it's more difficult to hit them. As long as he's only targeting the one uh, in front of Nick, he should be fine. Yeah, that's If he started that's targeting the, yours, then yeah, definitely disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to make my turn useless. Uh, with that said, um... It's now the orc's turn, and the one next to Archaeus and the doctor falls over dead from poison because he takes two 1d10. Oh, sorry, two 1d4, and that he only has two hit points left, so there's no bother. <laughs> <laughs> because the lowest amount of damage that could do is two. <laughs> <laughs> the lowest that my poison can do is the rest of his health. <laughs> um, so, with that said, it is now Hobgoblin, turn one. I don't like Hobgoblins. I'm prepared to be hurt badly. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think that? Because the dice haven't been kind to us. <laughs> That does not get through my armor. Oh, it doesn't? No, because I have my shield on, so I have an armor of 16. Okay, cool. Then you don't nice. have to worry about that. You only have to take 9 damage and 4 damage. Yeah, that would have sucked, right? You don't have to take 30 damage. Alright, so uh, the other hobgoblin is going to attack you, Dan. Okay. And it it, its efforts get. were so meager that... You know that. Well, Mr. Beast apparently what? stealing Rampage's arrows now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that his character shoot is correct. He's, like, heavily advantaged in everything. That's just because he has high dexterity. He's yeah. got proficiencies in these uh, things. Nick, why don't you start um, us off? Elves okay. get... Proficient in like every weapon, just to start. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. You gotta think they're a couple hundred years old, though. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've been practicing the bow for about the like in front of me with my long sword. Go for it. A million years. Two million years. Three million you? years. How did you get my luck? And, and, and the hot goblin goes in front of you. <laughs> the Yumi can't even hit a barn. I wasn't aiming for you. With that, it is the doctor's turn. Uh, have you considered tea? So our little goblin -y friend is dead, right? Yeah. Yeah. He passed out in poison. He's a goner. You could try looting his corpse, but I'm told that's frowned upon. Yeah, there's probably nothing I want there. Um, <laughs> That's also probably I true. Still, I can't even get through the door, so... <laughs> I'm chilling right here. Actually, you can... Um, that door's open already, so you... C the door is... Like, 1.8 blocks long, so you can squeeze through, because there's just a little hobbit in, on one part of it. The door is wide open, I just didn't delete it. You, you could try going to the north and kicking down one of those doors on your own. I'm sure that would end yeah, just great really... for you. I mean, I'm thinking if it's a three-foot door, even a four-foot door, there's really not a whole lot of room right there with those two standing right there Th fighting. That's, that's, like a ten, that's a ten-foot door. Ten-foot door? <laughs> it's it's like it's an eight it's like eight feet wide. Well, the, well, but again, the problem is if I move over here, I'm in the way of the arrows. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill. 
Yeah, you don't want to okay. get you on the head. Um, with that, um, Arceus uh, starts unfolding a, a towel, pulling out his tea set. Yeah. <laughs> does does he use the dead orc as a table? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, he uses the, um, the, uh, thing he had passed away from poison. He uses that as his table. Does he, does he, does he start picking up fallen, uh, swords and use them to build a table? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, I guess that means it's Rampage's turn. Oh, nice, he brought tea. <laughs> I, I I want I want to fire from here to here. I want to kill this this top goblin. He All must right, die. I, 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 he is I not don't allowed think you can do live. that much damage. He is not allowed to live. E even with your damage, you can't do that much damage. He is not he has, allowed he has to live. He red steel arrows. You never know. Oh wow! Wow! You rolled a wand. Yeah, uh, Rampage rolled so an actual one. So what were you saying about his chances to hit us? So I... Uh... Okay, okay, that's that's a natural one. Yeah, but he's like so skilled at seven. I mean, really? Well, yeah, but that's still a critical failure, so... No, no, it's a seven. That, are, that, are, oh, that oh, overrides... Oh, yes, 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 um... Hey, it's Rampage, a seven. roll a 1d100. It's a seven. Roll a 1d100. It's it's a 1. No, it's a 7. He rolled a 57. <laughs> um, you just missed. Uh, you, you actually hear the arrow go past the hobgoblin. And well, at least it, I didn't it, hit any of my it buddies. It hits the door on the opposite <laughs> side. <laughs> just to think, just to think, I, I, I feel like in a few minutes, there'll just be like an orc who pops his head out and just looks at the arrow like, What's this all about? <laughs> Hold on. No, I was. Oh, um, uh, by the way, Rampage, DK, are you keeping track of your I was secretly aiming for Nick. Uh, um, I was. I was secretly aiming for Nick. No, well, um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna make you hit Nick. Uh, <laughs> Nick doesn't want to be hit by that. Um, there, that'll that'll do like half of my health and damage. Rampage, are you keeping track of uh, your, I mean, uh, your arrows because you can't? I think you, yeah. Um, I, I have infinite our... arrows. No, you don't. You need to keep track of those. So when you fire them, you need to deplete them because you could only recover so many of them at the end of the battle. It's like half, isn't it? Normally, yes, but uh, no, these it's might all. No. no. Yes. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. Um, with that said, I, I guess it's now Dan's turn. Okay. I suggest hitting the goblet. I suggest hitting it in the face. In yes. the face? Yes. Yeah. Uh... Rad I mean, I, su okay. I suppose Stat the chest works roll, like, too. Like, I I'm sword. just going to aim for the chest. Just aim for the chest. The large. I have a history of not hitting things. <laughs> That's okay, you hit it pretty easily. Roll for damage. I think that puts it with one HP left. Oh, by the way, Dan, on your screen, uh -huh. you see the following thing appear on your screen. Just take a mental note. Beargo liked that. I, that reference might be too much, but um, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> okay. That's a Tall Tales joke. <laughs> No, 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 no. A Telltale's joke would be, Beargle will remember that. Yes, yes. Uh, Beargle liked that would be a Fallout reference. That too, that too. Um, uh, now it is the Hobgoblin's turn to hurt you all. Have at you. Um, Nick? Yeah? The Hobgoblin decides to try to bite you. Okay. It does, alive. in fact, hit very easily. So it, it, it just kind of runs up to you and takes a bite out of your shoulder? I take it I'm not allowed to dodge. No. Okay. I don't think so. Right, right Dan? Dodge is part of your armor. 
Uh, you okay. can choose to say that you are dodging instead of attacking, but it uses your attack. But and it I'm increases your armor class. Well, I, ca I guess... Uh, I don't think he can damage. increase his... <laughs> I don't think he increases his uh, <laughs> protection up to 23, though. <laughs> no. No, no. No, it increases... It increases okay, it to 10 well, million. I, I, okay, well, I guess I have to then back off, and I'm going to have to let this hobbit go next. <laughs> you probably uh -huh. should, like, you know, get out of his way so he could go in there. Well, at this point, I'm, I've now been bitten by a hobgoblin. I need to go uh -huh. get this looked at. <laughs> well, should, and as should... long as you only step back five feet, no more, then you don't incur an attack of opportunity, so he'll be able to step in. Um, uh, Dan, the the other hobgoblin tries to orc axe you. He wants to ask you a question. Well, he, he successfully asked me a very good question. Let's let's see what he wants to say. That he wants Ouch. to take five points of your hit hit points away. Yeah, it looks like he did that. So why why are the orcs the only people rolling really well for the most part this okay. game? I was rolling well for the first time. For the first time. <laughs> yeah. And I did uh, pretty well uh, while you weren't there. But, like, that's two rolls. Actually, I, I need to check something real quick. Because I think something bad just happened to Nick, and I need to make sure if it's actually bad, something bad's happening to him or not. Bad things are happening to me. Mm. I think you've had enough bad things happen to you, considering I want to know what what your uh, past has been, since you hate humans. And no, no, no. They, they were, they, 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 there's nothing to suggest that I hate solely humans. Oh, um, Nick, you need to make a DC 13 constitution saving throw. Okay. So what you're telling me is you want me to make my best, uh, one of my best saving throws. Yes. Uh, I can confirm that that that's, that, that's ma funny. that managed the DC thirteen, right? <laughs> wow. yeah, I'm pretty sure twenty is Good. better than thirteen. Congratulations, <laughs> uh, Nick. Nothing bad happened to you. What do you get? Yeah, what do you get? Like I'm, yes, that's why I was going to back up to get it looked at. Because I know bad things happen when you're bitten by hobgoblins. Well, no, you're you're fine. Uh, had you failed that, you would have been poisoned um, until Arceus touched you, or you took a short rest. Yeah. Luckily, so that's, luckily, constitution is, luckily, Constitution is one of the things I'm good at. Since Constitution is my class saving throw, that's pretty easy for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. With that said... Um, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, suddenly, the door opens. Which oh, door? this door down here? Did Do we get to see beyond it? No. <gasps> what be that sound? And the hobgoblins say, Intruders! Intruders? Are we going to get to see beyond that, or are we just going to watch things flow out of it? You're going to watch things flow out of it. Okay, I was just curious. If we get closer, will we be able to see things out through it? Also, Dan says meow. Meow, Dan. Meow. Is Dan once again having trouble? Um, No. Okay. I, okay. I just, just noticed that you meow. took meow to me earlier, so I, I made sure <laughs> okay. it. See, that's where I was making the joke, is like, you suddenly appeared after I said meow. <laughs> um, with that, uh, Nick, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to disengage by moving five feet. Nick, you moved right into my line of fire. I'm sorry, that's the only place I could move. 
You could have moved straight up. Uh, no, I, I really can't, because the only other spot is inside a door. And I don't think we need me to be opening another door at this time. <laughs> no, you need to open another door. Let's be honest, we gotta, we gotta just run through this wildly I, 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 I like all of the I, I would like to finish these guys off before we open the next door. Uh, no, did no, you want to shoot your just arrow? Do all the doors and just open all of do, them. Do you want to fire an arrow at the hobgoblin? Me? Mm -hmm. No, I can't do that. Okay. I, I, that would I'm going to use my action because I have to use my action to take my bow out. Oh, okay. As I recall. Okay, I'll just. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not you, just. No. I'm not just crazy. I'm not just crazy, right? I have to use my action to switch weapons. Don't you have a a great bow though? I do, yeah, so it wouldn't be very useful here yeah, anyway. not at all. You'd be at rolling I, at a disadvantage at the minimum. Well, I, yeah, well, I'd have to be walking all the way back this hallway anyway, so... Yeah. The, the, there's no reason to be switching weapons for me, DK, so... Oh, by the way, I need to remind myself. Um, got, I, I'm going to remind y'all so y'all can remind me. The Misty Mountain Goblins, they have a reaction to being attacked. Okay. I'm sure they're like okay. they scream loudly. Uh no, apparently they get be. to add armor to their uh to their armor class. I know they already have, they already have too much armor class. Yeah, they get more armor. Apparently if what? you hit them with a let's see. Hmm. Yeah, they, apparently every turn they get a free uh extra two armor class if they're hidden melee. Is, um, is this with the Hobgoblin? No. <laughs> luckily, <laughs> most, luckily, most hits will just have so they kill. They just get harder and harder to hit, but then if you don't hit them, they go back down? No. Every turn they get to add two to their armor class against one bully attack that would hit it. Oh, okay. So, so just one particular attack, attack they get to choose. Yeah. Directly and use your bow and arrow. Uh, essentially, it's it's the no, the, the I can't free use action my bow and is page. Yeah, the, the free action is called Don't parry. They get a parry okay. action that they get to do. Bless you, bless you. <laughs> so DK, my turn is over. I didn't switch weapons or anything. Okay. Uh, doctor, it's your turn. Team Crumpets. Um, there's really no reason to move. <laughs> I asked see, okay, what he see. meant. To the, what he meant for when he said to the hobbits, "Prepare our our exit." So, I, I got to get down here for a second. <laughs> it, isn't it obvious, Mr. B? They're preparing the explosives to blow straight through the ceiling when we're ready. No, they're get, they're preparing the thermal drill. <laughs> exactly. They, they've started a thermal drill straight into the cell of the person we're rescuing. DK, I have a question. How many times have I shot an arrow? I don't know. You've shot at least three arrows in this dungeon. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you shot two more outside, I think. Yep. Um, with that, uh, did, uh, do you accept the uh, tea? Of course. Of course. Of course. Uh, Arceus is going to slide past the tea set. I was going to have a conversation. And he turns to you. Who's to you? He's he's getting over there just because he knows Nick is wounded and he's waiting for Nick to come over to him so he could um, pull out you know the, the healing blanket. <laughs> and I I would move I would have moved further but doing so would have been good attack of opportunity. Okay. Uh, with that, I think the Hobbit is going to perform attempt a acrobatic roll to get in front of Nick. Because this seemed like the best thing for it to do. Though I don't think that I don't think this is gonna work. 
Oh, it, it worked. worked. Nice. <laughs> I knew it succeeded. All right, and he's going to attempt to attack with his swords. So he rolls, gets up, and attacks. And he's going to try to hit with both his swords. That worked. Yeah. And he did 15. Fine. <coughs> Leaving him with seven hit points. Seven hit points. I I literally am useless this next turn. Yeah, you can't do anything. With that said, um, Rampage, your turn. I sit on the floor. You sit on the floor. Did you want to come to to uh, Archaeus and Doctor and have some tea? I I walk over. I over. I walk over here, and I ask, "Is there is there biscuits as well?" And, and you find inside a little towel some pizza rolls. <laughs> With that said, Dan, it's your turn. Okay. Well, they're both pretty wounded. Um, so I, I'm, I'm still going to stick with the one I've been stabbing. Go for it. Uh, uh, yeah, just, do, just don't move because you have other problems. By the way, coming. Nick, what did you try to do here? What? Yeah, you attempted something called a K2TXU H no Neo Pixel oh, repeating I, 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 attack. I clicked on the button. I, I clicked. I clicked on the button for uh, the Hobbit's attack. Oh, by the way, Dan, that's enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> so hit it. Oh wow, these guys aren't very well armored. They only have uh, yeah. Poor that, fellow. That's why you can see there's skid. They only have armor class twelve. He that's, is definitely dead. He's dead. He is one hundred and one million percent dead. Uh, Nick. Why, 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 why did? Huh? Oh, it's my turn now. No, um, uh, I think now it's the what? Hobgoblin's turn actually. Okay. Hot and the goblins. Goblin. Goblin. Mm -hmm. Not the goblins. The orcs. Mm -hmm. Unless they just decide to ignore their comrades, which is actually entirely believable. So, if their attack and the armor class are the same, it goes through, right? Yes. Okay. Otherwise, Dan wouldn't have hit. Okay, uh, Beer Girl is going to be sad. Hey, at least he's not being bitten. He is being bitten, unfortunately. <laughs> he, can, he can be multi-attack. He can be multi-attack bitten. Uh, the bite is part of the multi-attack. Okay. Yeah, he goes in with his axe and so his bite. So the multi-attack is uh, uh, is an axe slash and bite. Uh -huh. So the bite did seven damage, and the axe did five. I guess I need to figure out what Beardle's constitution save is, huh? <laughs> I don't imagine that it's very high. It is not. <laughs> he rolled a natural twenty. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with the one on the left and 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 say he ignored it. D DK, he rolled a natural twenty on the right. I know, but he can't keep that because he's advantage. Uh, okay. That's um, kind of sad. Okay. Um. Now the other. Hobgoblins. You mean orcs? I'm sorry, orcs. They're going to disappear. Dan, I suggest staying right where you are. Uh, why did they walk away? They didn't. We they disappeared. Friends? Oh, they disappear in the dark. Oh. Like the hobbits do. Hi guys. Uh, yep, yep. I'll be, I'll be here. I'll be here all day. Okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk off and get healed, and then I'm gonna trade places with the Hobbit. That that way, uh, yeah. Um. Well, the thing is, you have to actually spend a, a couple of turns with um, Arceus for him to heal you. 
the rule is Whole that he has to spend back. a short amount of time with you. He doesn't have Mr. B's healing ability. He has a different healing ability that requires him to sit with you and take care of you. The uh, difference, well, though, I, I is guess... that he heals for a lot more than Mr. B, but Mr. Yeah. B can do instant healing. Okay, well, I guess, I guess I'll go do it. It's my turn, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna walk up. Uh, hey, Doc. Uh, I'm hey, told... so just... I've already, I've already used one of these, I believe, in the last fight, so I've only got one more. Uh, don't forget, you also have some um, herbs that you prepared from previous I'm, I'm, time. I'm currently talking to our case. Hey, Doc, I'm told uh, half goblin bites are poisonous. You mind taking a look at this for me? Oh, hey, is that tea? Oh, yes, I come, can, sit uh, down, enjoy some tea. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of sit like here. Check. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of sit here. I say, yep, I've been here for a little while. <laughs> so I'll, that's what I'll do on my turn, whenever my turn uh, uh, Rampage, yes. it's like probably time that you could get back in your position now. Why? I mean... Well, I, didn't, I didn't say you had to, I just said you could, but... Eh. Okay, um, Nick, it's your turn, you went to go see the doctor. So the doctor, uh, yeah, Arceus, uh, Arceus uh, prepares like a little blanket that he puts over you. <laughs> and he checks your temperature. He says, ah, you'll be fine. Okay. And he pours you a cup of tea, Nick. Okay. <laughs> uh, doctor, your turn. Uh, I, was, I was caring for Mr. Nick as well. Oh, okay. What were you doing? I stroked him on his hair and tell him he'll, it'll all be okay. Okay. <laughs> well, no, He's pretty up, sugar cute. Up any, you know, we... Do like Phil dress his wound or something. <laughs> okay. He, he he picks out these like tiny little band aids and starts putting them on the wound one by one. I grab a dirty sock and I wrap it around the wound. And I, I kind of <laughs> jam it in there. Hey, Nick. I think that would do more harm. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, roll of one d two. Okay. Oh, one d two. I'm interested in this. It's a one. Cool, you received one hit point back. Okay. Well, that's good. By the way, uh, Doctor, don't forget that you also have those previous herbal packs that you prepared at the beginning of the game. Yep. Yeah. I got them. Okay. Yeah, those don't count against your normal healing ability. Mm -hmm. Because those are pre-prepared herbs. <laughs> uh, with that said, Rampage, it's your turn. Um, I just stay and, uh, ask for some more <laughs> tea, yeah. yeah you, you know you could actually use your turn now though to fire at things if you wanted. Eh. Okay. Rampage, uh, enjoy some tea and some pizza rolls. Okay, uh, D Dan, you know, I, I at least have a legitimate reason for not helping you. <laughs> You've gotta eat tea. I'm going to get myself healed by the, by the good old doctor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think it's pretty legitimate. Is it my turn? Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I yeah, don't know why your page isn't helping you. <laughs> okay. I am going to try to stabby this guy. Stabby stab. That works. And he, he is, is dead. dead. Good, by the way... Good. Little message at the top. Um, <laughs> Beer girl liked this. Very nice. Um, Beer girl's turn is now, but he doesn't really have anything to do, unfortunately. And Beer girl turns to you, Dad, and says, "What is so delicate that even mentioning it breaks it?" Silence. And he points to the... As you say that, he points forward, suggesting that maybe the, the hallway is a little too quiet. Mm. It is dark, too. I will ready my sword and shield and attempt to perceive what is down there. 
Okay, uh, DK, I think this is a good time for me to uh, drink some tea. All right. By the way, uh, just so you know, nothing, it, it's not that nothing is happening, I'm moving a lot of things now. Uh -huh. It takes me a while to move these things. Okay, um, Doctor, it's your turn. Um, I don't, It's not a whole lot to do. Oh, you know what? Um, I kind of look out here, and I look around for any more hidey people, because one of them attacked me. Okay, go ahead and uh, roll me a, uh, uh, go ahead and roll your check. My perception? Yeah. Perception. I'm sorry, in, 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 in um... In Dark Heresy, perception is the is the raw characteristic stat, and then awareness is actually checking. Yeah. This is the actual skill is kind of weird. Um. Okay. Roll a one d four. Lovely. One. Oh, one. You detect one. Goblin. Great! So I that's an orc DK. I won. Well, the Misty Mountain uh, orcs are goblins. He's right in front of you! Uh, by the way, Dan, uh, you hear the doctor like screaming at you, It's in front of you! It's in front of you! And in front of you, you see a hobgoblin emerge. I mean, not a hobgoblin, oh, wow. a goblin, a Misty Mountain goblin. Sneaky! It's in front of you. With that said, uh, Rampage, it's your turn. So I hear this yelling, and I walk on over here to see what what's happening. And then I see, and then I see the misty, um, the misty, uh, whatever, he, whatever he is. Okay. And I and I say hello. <laughs> so, I yeah. Okay. Rampage, you're gonna hit it? Yes. Okay. Can you shoot an arrow at him? Can he even do that? I'm guessing he's gonna, like, he's gonna take his book. Wrong thing. You can't hit that with your short sword, it's ten feet from you. So what I was thinking was Rampage takes his bow and leans it on, on, on Dan's uh, shoulder. In attacks, right? Is is that what's happening? Okay. Well, oh, you you already hit the first time you rolled your damage for your bow. Yeah, just so roll for damage. Matter. It's fine. Oh no! Wait, wait. Oh well, yeah, yeah. He's hitting with a ranged weapon, so yeah, he hit him. So yeah, go ahead and roll for damage. What are you doing? That instant. That is it. enough to kill it. I killed it! Shot him in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> and that Misty Mountain Orc slash Goblin had to end his adventuring career. Sad. So when does Arceus go? Uh, I'm thinking Arceus is going to go right now. 
and he's going to use his healing ability on you. Because I believe that it's strangely worded that his ability requires him to take a uh, spend time with the hero. Ooh, apparently he can't remove poisoning, but he can remove almost anything else. <laughs> it's a good thing I have a high constitution score, then. So he gets to heal for 3d8. Okay. Which re heals you for 8 hit points. Okay. He had a critical should be th miss. Th that will put me back up at full. Yeah, you're at full health now. There's I'm, I'm aware. I just <laughs> okay, well, I guess I, I guess I gotta wait in reserve then. So, so um, essentially, Arceus like puts some herbs on you, and then you see him take his stick and he just taps you with it. Suddenly, you don't feel so messed up anymore. In fact, you know that bite. It's, it, it's not like it's, it's not even there. You enjoy some nice tea. That said, um, Rampage went, right? So, Dan, it's yeah. your turn. Attempt to perceive the other goblins. Yes, I need to make a perception check, because there's probably another one out there. If there was one... There, there, was like, more. there are probably like three more, at least. Really? Only two yeah, in front of the door. No, you no, no. I could see a third one in there. So there's probably at least two or three more. Mm. Okay, um, Dan, roll me a one d four. Four. Hey, uh, Dan. Uh huh. You notice not one. Not two. Not three. Not three. Not but four, four. But five. Oh, wow. I had to move one one space because revealing it in the darkness didn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, lots of these little guys. Well, I'll, uh... Go for the nearest one and uh, see if I can make some progress working toward the back. Okay. Go for it. Nope. Especially if he applied his extra armor class to me. He doesn't have to. He only has to do that as if he would take damage. Oh, okay. He gets to wait and choose. Yeah, that's at least how it's worded. Uh-huh. See, it says uh, he gets to add two to his armor class against one melee attack that would hit, hit it. So I think he only... These, to... guys, these guys have a pretty high armor class. Yeah. So apparently he gets to attempt to parry anything that would actually hit him. I haven't been using that ability, but I guess I should. <laughs> I mean, we haven't been able to hit them, so... Uh, Nick. Um, it is not your turn yet. It's the Hobgoblin's turn. I'm aware. And they're so happy. They've, they've been waiting. It's not a Hobgoblin. It's not a Hobgoblin. I know, sorry. 10, 15, 20... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... 30... So, um, the Hobgoblin is going to attack the ho the Hobbit, who forgot to attack for some reason. No, no, he spent his turn looking for them alongside you. That's actually how you revealed all of them, was that he assisted you in searching for them. Mm-hmm, yeah, he was pointing them, pointing them out to me. And he rolled a little bit right, better I than would you? Like, yeah. I would like to note this dungeon is going to take us a very long time to clear. Yeah, this might be more than one day, I think. Well, 
Well, it's already 9.30, so... And we haven't even gone into a room yet. Well, so. actually, you all have emptied parts of the room. That's a good point. We probably we actually probably did empty large parts of that room due to like the six hop goblins that streamed out of that. This is what I say. I want, even though it is my turn. I I my turn. I want to um. I want to tell y'all at it at uh. Nick, just go along with this. Um, at me and Nick have been uh, working on a secret technique called uh, I don't, jump I don't stab, want to go along with and this. I jump on no, his shoulders, I'm, I'm, I'm not, and I'm I start going with this bouncing anyway. on them. No, <laughs> and I start I'm not bouncing not going on along all along with this of them, and I, and I keep stabbing them in the face every single time that nope. I bounce on his shoulder. No, so, um, the hobgoblin <laughs> takes his spear and spears it into the <laughs> hobbit. And the hobbit's like, ouch! And at that moment, the hobbit looks over to you, Dan, and says, Let's see, I'm trying to think of the right one. Riddle me this. I'm very easy to get into, but it is hard to get out of me. What am I? Trouble? It's Dan. He's asking Dan, not you, Nick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to say, apparently, apparently your riddles are very popular. I'm not the only one answering. <laughs> Trouble indeed, and I think we're in it. Ah, uh, well, I've got one more for you. What grows old as you grow old, and its fire is cold? This is a good one. I'll let you have that one. <laughs> I would make him roll the riddle, because, like, his riddle skill is 10. Like, this is, this is, all the, all the character's good at is riddling and, and, uh, stealth. That's it. There you go. He rolled his riddle. He's essentially Bilbo. He's essentially Bilbo. Uh, okay, Dan, wow. did, did he figure out your riddle? Uh, he did. He did indeed. <laughs> These are all of his skills. Riddling? And stealth, that's all he's good at. <laughs> but he's really good at them. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I am a god at hiding, but I cannot end solving your riddles. Other than that... Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and let the hobbit actually attack the goblin in front of him. Because he that's didn't probably get to attack. A good idea. Oh, it was a that. disadvantage! He has a nine! He doesn't have disadvantage. So it'd be the first one. The uh, uh, the goblin is dead. The goblin is dead. Um. With that said, there we go. Um. Dan, you're about to be hit by something terrifying. Ouch. Was that the sixteen? No, no, no. I said you're about to, not that you were hit. With oh, okay. Okay. That would be terrifying, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, this time the goblin takes both of its hands, takes its spear, and launches it at you. Oh! I'm gonna hunker down behind my shield. It, uh, I'm it pretty sure it hits me. you. Yup, yup, it still uh, got me. I, I'm gonna say it rolled an 18. It still got me. Okay. Oh, it only took one damage. The wound. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That—that's messed up. Let me look at that real quick. <laughs> yeah, that, that looked wrong even to me. I mean, you rolled a one. You could have gotten an eight. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to do a lot more damage. No, nope, it only does one damage against you. So, oh, okay, so man. Uh, you only take one damage, Dan. So apparently I'm given the option of average, which is 4, or to roll 1d8, and 1d8, of course, is it rolled a 1. Apparently he doesn't give any bonuses for this weapon whatsoever. <laughs> I guess that's the advantage to the sword, it does more, it has more guaranteed damage. Uh, with that, I think... 
one's just the other ones there. can't. The other ones can't um, touch you at this moment. So, I think it's now Nick's turn. Uh, okay, Nick, Nick is going to come over here. <laughs> okay, Nick is going to dance around everyone, and he's going to open that yeah. other door. I think, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm actually going to open that other door. I'm not going to kick it down. I'm just going to kind of calmly open it. Hey, what's in? DK, you uh, revealed to us things that were behind a different door. Yeah, I'm sorry. You no, that's good! That. That's good! So we have one of the thingies and another I mean, one I, of the I mean, I figured there were things behind that door, but you know. So I'm just going to kind of open that. I kind of opened that door and, and I danced around over here. So I'm kind of standing behind the... The, uh... The Hobbit in reserve. Uh, did you have any music? No. Sorry. Um, with that said, I think it's the doctor's turn. Mr. B, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm looking. So, I scan the other corridors looking for more people. Um, currently all hallways are, are revealed. I mean, like, more hidden goblin-y people. Uh, I, I'm just gonna let you know there's no, currently there are no uh, hidden goblin people. You see nothing. You nothing is what you see. shall see nothing. <laughs> you see nothing, there's because nothing there's nothing to see. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just for the purpose of I cast magic missile at the darkness. Is there anything else you want to do, Mr. B? Nope. Okay, rampage, your turn. I would like to I would like to go over here and ask the No this, Rampage, fire your bow. This dude if he has any healing potions I could be and I could hold on to. In case um, I needed Arceus them. Goes, looks over to you. He, he kind of takes his head, puts it sideways, and tells you, and, and starts quoting pages of some ancient scroll book called the, uh, uh, something called the Adventures of Middle Earth and some sort of section about magic potions. And that it, it clearly said no. Ah. He's really sorry about that. You know what? I just realized what I should have done. What's that? I, since, since Rampage was going to be useless, I should have just moved all the way down the hallway. <laughs> 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 well, if, if, because if I had gotten all the way to that end of the hallway, I would have actually lost the disadvantage for the great bow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um... With that, uh, Dan, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, the fellow right in front of me. Okay. Let's see whether I can actually hit him this time. You will die. You definitely hit him. Oh, oh, wait. He's gonna. He's not going to parry because he can't. Because that, that's not gonna save him. All right. You did four damage. It doesn't kill him. I know. I know. I'm failing. Yes, you are. I agree. He has three hit points left. But at least you hit him. Uh, Beer goal is going to try to help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he definitely helped. And to that, he says to the orc. What belongs to you, but others use it more than you do. Do you are distracted by this? He's suddenly stabbed by two short swords. And um, with that, the hobbit simply says your name. Mm. Well done, well done. I did not know that one. And that very much kills that orc.
Uh, it is now the orc's turn. This orc moves forward. This orc, 10, 15, 20. Uh, this this uh, this orc is going to use nimble escape, which allows him to hide and disengage. Same thing for this other one. And what is the other one gonna do? Okay, and that is it for their turn. Nick, your turn. That's my turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you know, uh, n normally I would just try to, you know, move past this hub, this, uh, c could I theoretically move over the hobgoblin? <laughs> there are no hobgoblins in this area. I'm sorry, not hobgoblin, hobbit. Is, is he short enough I could just walk over him? I mean, technically, um, technically Dan can be, like, here for technicality purposes. Which would let you go here. No, you know what? I'll just I'll stay where I am. Because you could sit here and shoot with your bow. No, I can't. I'd, I'd be at a disadvantage. I'm way too close. There's, yeah, but, no reason to be but what, There's no reason to be shooting my bow. I, I don't think disadvantage is all that terrible for you at this particular juncture. I mean, would you would you like me to roll? Something I mean, terrible. It might be worth. I, it, it, I I think I don't I don't think it's as bad as you think it is. If something terrible happens, I blame you. Okay. Did something terrible happen? Almost. Nothing happened. So yeah, it's amazing. It, it was it was a waste of my error. Thank you. <laughs> I only I only brought twenty of those DK. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, you're making me waste all my arrows. <laughs> That's why you need to buy a hundred of them. You know what? I've only lost six out of a hundred. I have a uh, ninety-four. Not bad. Okay, uh, Doctor, it's your turn. I'm gonna wander down this hole. How far can I go? Um, let's see. Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 1, 2, 3. You can move seven hexes. Seven. Okay, I'm back here. That's right. From where I was. Is that correct? I'll take your word for it. Yeah. I mean, I'm going trying to go as far as I can in an action, so. So I'm I'm trying to what I'm trying to do is see if there's any more stuff to do out here. Oh, did you want to try opening the other doors? No. Not so much open. Well, I can't get to them. So. Okay. No. Right? What? Am I correct in that? Or? Uh, you know what? I, I will let you make a run. If you want, you could try running for those doors. Yeah. That's a so, rampager thing to do. Yeah, that that would not be something I do. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm saying like there. you could pass a easy athletics check to try to make it to the door, since there's no one in front of you. I'm gonna do that. Good luck on this athletics. Well, as I said, it'd be an easy check. It would be a hard one. Yeah. So there's your there's your answer to that one. <laughs> Okay, um, you make it halfway to the door. 
and, and then you start bringing why, why, a little why heart. Would we go and then I huff and puff. Why, why would we go towards those doors? We we cleared more enemies closer to the doors towards the bottom. I'm trying to listen at the door to see if there's... If I can hear how many. That would be the uh, Mr. B, you can tell there is the presence of more. Um... Actually, roll for a shadow lore check. Shadow lore. What on is it? What on is um, it? From where you are, you can definitely tell the sound of roughly... About roughly seven more adversaries. Yeah, no... No. You think He's the room dead. on the left has four, and the room on right has about three. Okay, well, that's good. That's good knowledge to know. But you could be wrong. At most, there's eight. I feel that going towards the south is the best option. Probably is great. That's that's it for me. Okay. Decay. I'm not going to announce my presence outside the door. Um, so Arceus is going to sit and make another cup of tea. Uh, tea, tea can, I, can, can I ask the Hobbit a riddle? Go for it. Okay. Uh, what starts with the letter T is filled with T and ends in T. <laughs> Right? Okay, does that answer the riddle? Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead and tell us the answer. Uh, it's a teapot. <laughs> ah. And, and Beargo says, uh, I think that's what all the other ones are doing, but we're doing all the real work. Uh, yeah, totally. Right, Kyle? It is pretty good to be, I'll give it that. Desserts. It's kind of hard to shuffle through these hobbies aren't very large, unfortunately. And with that, um, Beargle goes, uh, looks over to Rampage and says, Riddle me this! A poor man is sitting in a pub. He sees a rich man and tells him, I know all the tales and all the songs. I can sing a popular song that includes a lady's name of your choosing. The rich man mocks the poor man and takes him on his offer and utters his daughter's name of Joanna Armstrong Miller. The poor man goes home rich. Which song did he sing? You lost me a long time ago. Okay, so this guy made a bet that he knew all the songs, all the tales, and that he could sing a song um, with any person's name that he that the rich man chose. Right? Uh, and the rich man chose the name Joanna birthday. Armstrong Miller and the poor man found a song, a popular song, that had the name Joanna Armstrong Miller in it. Happy birthday to you. Very good! Happy birthday! Think about it. It is apparently just as good as Dan is apparently good at riddles. Apparently. I did it! I think Dan might have heard that one. Happy birthday to you, I did it. Yeah, well, think about it, uh, Rampage. Um, what song can you I think of that has everyone's name in it? Happy birthday, what? right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you could put anyone's name in it. Yep. <laughs> Alright, with that said, um, I think Rampage is your turn. I, um... I ask if there's anything that could heal me, at that could be uh, that I could have, except for taking a short, except for taking a rest. Uh, that, uh, at this point, Archaeus hands you a book, and the book says, "How to become a scholar: the ten-year journey." Uh. uh <laughs> I 
<laughs> so I say, is there anything else? He hands you another book called Herbology, <laughs> The 20 Year Journey. <laughs> Only 20 years? Nice. I, I should look into this. And I, and I simply, um, I say, uh, no, thank you. And I ask if, uh, if there, if I can have some more tea. Of course. Also, um, as you drink the tea, Rampage, you feel better about yourself. In fact, your next attack, you think will be extra lucky. <laughs> That's good. That's very good. With that said, uh, Dan, it's your turn. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to uh, edge forward a little bit and uh, see whether this guy's as resistant to swords as the rest of his fellows. They've they've had a startling iron deficiency, and I and I aim to fulfill it. You definitely hit him. Well, unless he does... No, he can do the thing. Yeah. Uh, so, as you hit him, as you begin to make a thrust for him, he takes out his blade and deflects your sword away. Mm. Nice! No, and he also... Goblin. And he also... He and now, now, nice! Now the Hobbit Hobbit. And he doesn't have his extra benefit for the Hobbit. No, no, and the Hobbit also says, Nine! Nine. 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 <laughs> Nine. Uh, <laughs> and with that, he says, Riddle me this, orc. What can you catch but not throw? As the orc has no idea and confused on what someone's asking the riddle. Um, Disease. Beargul says, A cold! As he, as he throws in both swords at him. Uh, I didn't even hear the riddle. <laughs> unfortunately, what can you catch but not throw. What can you catch but not throw a cold? Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> while it, he attempted to make it a distraction riddle, it didn't work this time. Uh, both of his blades did not make it to the orc. No. Hey, Banger. Uh. Clad in mail, never clinking. Uh, always swimming, never drinking. What am I? <laughs> Rolled to 27. <laughs> well played, well played. <laughs> uh, with that said, uh, Dan, it's, your, it's not your turn anymore. It's the Goblin's nope. turn. So, uh -huh. the goblin is going to make an attack. I'm going to glare at it. I think it's going to hit, go for the sword this time. And I don't think that did it. Guys, nope. I will hit you with my bent sword. And the orc goes, I squish you, little gray man. And as, he, as he accidentally hits the wall, and sparks <laughs> go flying. When those sparks go flying... Suddenly, two more Misty Mountain orcs appear. Well, that's good. He helped us. Thank you. With that said, Nick, it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I guess I, I guess I have to shoot through them again. Okay. So I, I will shoot through them. Did you want to move further DK back really... so that you won't have disadvantage? Yes, I, I will just move to the back of the hallway. All the way up, 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 up. I was trying oh, to find way. where... Well, I was trying to figure out what the range was for the great bow. <laughs> It's it's pretty long. Well, no, I mean, with the minimum range before, you know. I don't know, honestly. I want to say it's 160. It might be wrong. No, 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 no. I mean, the minimum range. 
Because I think it only oh. goes out to 160. No, 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 no. I think that no, is... No, ra- range, is, range is 200, 800. So there's no amount of moving back I can do that would help me with this. You need I, 200. Well, no, I, I don't think 200 is for the uh, disadvantage knockoff. I can't remember what page Normally weapons you need a at. special skill to be able to use it within 5 feet. Well, that's that for the short combat? <laughs> but DK, the, ra- the range is apparently 200 800, so I'm assuming that 200 is its minimum range. No, actually, that's, um... Oh, gosh. I think 200 is something completely different. So why is it sitting in my range bar? Why are you sitting in my range bar? So I'm, I'm trying to remember what page the weapons were on. At this page, I should just tell the Hobbit a j- uh, riddle. Is it in the Lore Master's book? What are you looking for? Um, uh, the Great Bow's um, weapon stats. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell a riddle to the Hobbit. You walk across a bridge and you see a boat full of people, yet there isn't a single person on board. How is that possible? It's a ghost ship. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, I'll... Great bow, range 150 slash 600. You see a boat full of people? Page, page 153. On? Of which book? Uh, the Adventures in Middle Earth. The Adventure. Yeah, he, he, got, he, he got the question right. Uh, the, the answer is uh, everybody on board is married. Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. So there is uh, two fathers and two sons in a boat that sank, yet only th- all drowned, but only three died. How is this? <laughs> what is up with all of these riddles? I've read too many riddle books about uh, riddle masters. And they keep telling riddles. Some of them stick with you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hardest riddle you can think of? Mm, the one that took me the longest was the uh, What grows old as you grow old and its fire is cold. That one took me a really long time. <laughs> to figure out? Uh huh. What do you think the answer is? Another another person born on the exact same day? Oh, it's fire is cold. That's just weird. <laughs> uh-huh. It took me a really long time. What grows, what grows old as you grow old? Fire is cold. <laughs> what? That's weird. Hey, Dan, Dan, I have a riddle for you. Uh-huh. I have a large money box. It's 48 centimeters square and 42 centimeters tall. Roughly how many coins can I place in my empty money box? None. The way you phrased it... Um, as much money as you have. However, you said it was because you asked how many you could put in it. How many it has is none. Uh, no, 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 Dan. I have a large money box, 48 centimeters square and 42 centimeters tall. Roughly how many coins can I place in my empty money box? That's, that's the question. Uh-huh. None, because you don't have the, the, any. The, cor- oh. the correct answer is, the correct answer is just one. After which it will no longer be empty. Uh, Dan, um, I, I, I read the, 
Uh, I actually found on the character sheet where it explained how the great bow worked is you can okay. shoot up to 150 feet or you can shoot up to 600 with disadvantage. Okay. That's what the description then, says for it. You have to, to do it in close quarters you need to be. It doesn't mention anything about close quarters. Apparently you, it's supposed you, to get a dis- you can uh, supposed to get a I want to say either elves so. or wanderers get a ability that gives them the ability to shoot. Yeah, because uh, well, I'm looking at one of their sample character sheets, and according to that, the description is that it shoots to 150 feet, at, uh, huh. and then if huh. you shoot past that to 150 to 600, you shoot at disadvantage. Okay, that's not nice. That's good then. So then you are within advantage as long as you step back a few feet, or not within advantage. You're just normal, and then if you go too far. Well, see, I think I think the short bow can't shoot at that range, and that's the difference. I mean, at least that's what I'm seeing from the character sheet. Let me let me copy what it says. Hey, Dan. Uh-huh. What never asks questions, but is often answered. A question. The phone. A doorbell. Okay. What? Say the riddle again? What never asks questions, but is always a- but is often answered. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I would say phones work too, but phones are not historically accurate, as they wouldn't uh-huh. exist. But you, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm asking these out of character. Uh-huh. So, uh, Dan, imagine that you're in a room that is filling with water. There are no windows or doors. How do you get out? Um, in a room filling with water. You cut. You go. You you exit where the water came from. (laughs) Yes, but I'm going to say. Would you like me to read the riddle again? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, read the riddle. You're reading these. (laughs) Go ahead. Yes, I, I, I'm looking. I, I'm not good at coming up with riddles. I'm better at answering them. Mm-hmm. So I, I looked some up for for this occasion. So imagine you're in a room that is filling with water. There are no windows or doors. How do you get out? Stop imagining. Exactly. I didn't hear you say the imagining. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I then, so the you, a uh, the more you oh, behind. What are they? The more you what? The more you take, the more you leave behind. What are they? The more you'll take, the more you'll leave behind? Uh Uh, No, it's it's time for me to leave. Ah, yes. Good night, Dad. More more appeared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They keep coming from the southern area. We're making a lot of noise fighting. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not making any noise, really. I'm just having some tea, you know? Uh, yes, so page 107. Oh. One. When making ranged attacks with a short bow, you do not suffer disadvantage for long range nor for attacking within f- five feet. Yeah, but there's nothing so that, mentioned for the great thing, though. Oh, yeah. Right. But that's specifically giving as a bonus for the short bow. Yeah. So within five feet, you're not supposed to be using a bow because you're in hand-to-hand combat. Yep. So normally you're at disadvantage. But... Yeah. Elves can get the virtue where that does not affect them. But it also gives them no disadvantage at long range either. DK, I have a question. What? If you're rolling I if you're rolling a disadvantage and both of the rolls are the exact same, which one would you choose? 
Oh, uh, whichever is highest. No, uh, you're, so you're rolling. You're rolling a disadvantage. You use the lowest one. Well, hold on, but you're but you rolled. Okay, so yeah, exactly. with that 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 elven ability allows you to use the short bow, um, without uh, disadvantage to uh, attacking the maximum range, and of course it allows you to use it also... CKC. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, unfortunately, five feet is one tile, so Nick yep. being ten ten feet away is outside of that range. Right, so he doesn't have any disadvantage. Yeah. He's okay. good to go. <laughs> I'm glad we got that settled. <laughs> I'm going to have Nick shoot his bow again, I guess. Fire away, fire away. Fire away, fire away. Fire, 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 fire. Fire. Nice. He needed to roll like this when he was here. Um. I think is he roll, he's rolling at disadvantage. I guess they should have had him roll normal. So that would have been twenty one anyway, but it's fine. He ain't mana. Well, mana. that's okay. I I, I I managed to equal it up for damage. Get out of the way, turn order. Turn order <laughs> trying to get in my way. So All I assume right. he's shooting over the head of the hobbit. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for. <laughs> Okay. They're easy to shoot over. Yeah. I mean, that, that kind of makes sense, don't actually. Don't jump. <laughs> yeah, like, don't jump. Uh, Doctor, what do you want to do? Um, okay, so I head away from that door now. After running, like, at the door, you don't want to, like... Do you, uh, by the way, uh, so you know that you could go through either of those doors and there would be no consequence... What? There, there's hallways that 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 those connect to hallways that do connect to rooms. So if you wanted to peek in, you know, you could do that. All I heard was was people's. All right. So I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back down this way. Okay, so you you don't want to peek in. No. No, when I was. Closer to the doors, so I had I heard eight people. Real close. Okay. Eight. All right. I'm so, assuming, uh, this black is the end of the hallway, right? Uh, just you know, just because I'm a nice person. Okay. Bye. I'm a nice GM. <laughs> I'll give you a little more information to work with. That's what I was trying to explain. Is that there were double doors there? Okay. Oh. So that's why you haven't had anyone from these rooms come at you yet? Because they're working their way? No, they have double doors, so they can't... They, the, uh, the sound is actually nullified. They they're not hearing any of this. Okay. The only reason the people down below were actually able to enter into this uh, was because the arrow actually hit the end of the hallway. Yeah. And they heard it! But not all of them heard it, just a few of them heard it. Which is good, which is good. Okay, and I guess that's the doctor's turn, and Arceus is just going to sit there and drink more tea. <laughs> uh, because he's trying to restore his uh, heal. Rampage, your turn. Okay, so I'm going to change my, uh, my thing up, and I'm going to... Yell to whatever these are here, okay. whatever they are. Okay. And I'm going to try to confuse them. And I don't even know, DK, you you know what this is, but I don't know if, <laughs> if anyone oh, else Rampage, does. Rampage, can you roll me riddle? Hold on, I need. <laughs> So what the riddle is is it's the one that you told me there's a prisoner 
in a room with. Well, if you roll the riddle, okay. uh, if you roll for riddle, I'll, I'll I'll give you a riddle to say. Okay. Maybe Mr. B can help you find it. You're not very good at riddles, by the way. There you go. I don't care. <laughs> That's a success. Care. That looks like a very good success. Hey! Um, with that, um, what level of difficulty would you like of a riddle? Hard. Okay. I would like it to be very hard. <laughs> All right. So they get so they get confuzzled, confuzzled. A thief condemned to death has been given three choices as punishment. The first is facing a room with a raging fire. The second is facing a room full of assassins with bows and arrows. And the third is a room full of lions that haven't eaten in three years. Which room is the safest? <laughs> I know which one I would pick. Mm, that's true. Uh, with that, I'm going to have the goblins attempt their wisdom check. I have... I can't see anything. Which, it will be at a disadvantage. They failed. Um, Lions would be the safest room. They're dead if they haven't eaten in three years. This is true. Um, go ahead and attack with advantage. Rampage? Yes. I think you're the one attacking with advantage, right? Mm-hmm. Hang on. I moved you over. Something happened. Something happened. You pushed all the buttons? Do you want me to <laughs> roll for your attack? What would I be using, actually? You'd be using your bow. Short bow. Red steel. And I would have a vantage or whatever on my attack because of the T. Yes. Well, you have that, and also um, they also are at disadvantage because you confused them with a riddle. Yeah. I roll for damage. Eight. That is a very dead goblin. Yes, very, very much dead. With that, Dan, it's your turn. I will step forward. Okay. And uh, see if this guy also has an iron deficiency. Hmm. No. Uh, you, I need Nick to be here. Apparently, like, without Nick, then I can't. I can't hit. Things. Apparently, you take your your. It, it's a long sword. Right? You take your long sword and you go, and, and you actually hit the orc. But nothing happens. Like your sword just bounces off of him, and you just see the orc tilt its head, <laughs> and you know something bad's coming your way. Mm. But sorry, Mister Orc, sir. Your it's, friendly hobgoblin is going to come in. Uh, your friendly hobbit is going to try to help. Um, he's very much so not amused. In fact, he is a complete opposite of amused. And with that... Um, Barrigal goes, A monkey, a squirrel, and a bird are racing to the top of an apple tree. Which one gets the banana first? The monkey, the squirrel, or the bird? None of the them. Bird. A and uh, goes for his attack. Uh, Rampage? They're going up an apple tree. Which one gets the banana first? Oh my god. And that orc is dead. Wow. <laughs> wow. You like that trick question? Yes. Where do you get these from? The internet and lots of research. <laughs> I, I wouldn't pull the Dick Tracy one on y'all. That one's too long. 
Um, Nick, your turn. I think Nick is going to buddy up with Dan. And, Nick! Uh, and, and try to attack it with his short sword. Die, 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 die! Because I don't think he could hit it without hitting y'all. And there. A birdie. And unfortunately, it parried, so no good. Doctor, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna head down this hole. Ding 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 ding. To see what ding. I can see. Why are you constantly looking for danger? So that I know it's what's going on. It's better to find the danger than let the danger find you. Yeah. yeah. So, five people died in a cabin on top of a mountain. They did not die from hunger. They did not die from cold. They all died a violent death at the same time. How did they die? The goblin they went off the cliff. The, the Misty Mountain Goblin attempts and fails. Go ahead. Um, it was an airplane cabin. There's no airplanes in Middle Earth, though. I know, I know. I was just telling you guys the riddle. Oh, I thought you were telling the goblin. Oh, no, 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 no. But that was a clear thing to do. Okay. With that, I guess it's Rampage. It, it is a cool thing to do, but I'm not that cool. Okay. And my riddle skill is uh, atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a negative so one. I really don't want to try to roll that. I might, well, I might get a Rampage zero. Rampage has a zero, and he's, he made a 17. Yeah, he's one more than me. <laughs> But that that would mean like you could have got a sixteen. Yeah, I also could have gotten a zero. And then where would I be? <laughs> I would confuse myself. Not safe. <laughs> Not safe at all. Go ahead, Rampage, what do you want to do? Okay, I, I since I, I can't really do anything. I'm just gonna shout another riddle. Now I'm taking this one from uh some from uh T V show. What is a Donut. What? What is a food? What is a donut that is not edible? A tire. Incorrect. There mm -hmm. is such thing as a donut uh, replacement tire. What did the show say? It, it didn't say it. That's the thing I'm building off of it. Okay. A stone donut. <laughs> <laughs> See, there is a replacement tire that, that, that people refer to as a donut, and that's like a um, a smaller, tinier tire. I didn't know that. I'm correct with that, right? I'm not making that up, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. no, no. I, I started so there's, doubting there's myself. There's an ancient saying, uh, man who run behind car become exhausted. What happens to man in front of car? Squishy. He is tired. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to roll riddle because I was yelling the riddle out to the... Oh, come on. You're supposed to think my pun's funny. Okay, you know what? Uh, you do come up with one, Rampage. What happens when you throw a blue rock into a yellow sea? Hmm. It sinks. Yes, but <laughs> like <laughs> I have, I have an idea. You rolled a really low score for your riddle that time. <laughs> I have an idea. You don't get from, you don't get to go on the good list. <laughs> What's up? You do not get to use any more um, riddles from the internet. I uh, see just so you know, with. Rampage. I'm not pulling these off the internet. I I compiled lists. I have a giant list of riddles that I pulled it from. Oh my god. I spent like hours compiling a list of riddles. And I started removing the ones that were not appropriate for Lord of the Rings setting. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I had to do a bunch of research on orcs today. That's what I was doing most of the today. Anyway, um, with that, Dan, now, what do you want to do? Wait, did, did I confuse? Yeah, that, that goblin is so confused, uh, he lost, he, he, he started looking this way. So, Dan, you have advantage. I have advantage? Wow. Well, that's cool. I will try to stab him. <laughs> I'll try to stab him. for damage. We did four damage. And I think Biracle is going to try one. And Biracle says, Orc, have you ever heard of a good orc? And, and, and uh, the orc's really confused at that concept. Um, the, a good orc is a dead orc. And hits it with both its swords. I did not. Wow. That's a dead orc. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's very Okay. Dead. Combat is cleared. The timer is gone. You can now Yay. you can now decide out your actions as a team which direction you want to go. Ah. Well, sadly, yeah, I am going I to have to call a, it a night. <laughs> okay. A, We're gonna end it with everyone eating 100 billion pizza rolls. So we have some tea. Well, I guess before we end that's this. Tough. Uh, I'm going to reveal some more of the area. We are being privileged. Yep. That. DK, yep. show us, like, a million hallways. Show us where the hostage is. Oh, uh, you want me to show you where the hostage is? Sure, sure. Yeah. Sure. You know what? I can do that for y'all. There you go. The hostage what? has been revealed. <laughs> huh. My so brother. To get to. It's like you don't know how to get there. <laughs> I see him. Uh, I saw. Yeah. I have an idea. It's funny. Is I actually did. I did color out Billy uh, last week. I had Billy ready to go. He was in this dungeon already. And so will Billy? Okay. Be honest. Will Billy be fighting me? Why would Billy be fighting you? <laughs> just, your brother. just questions that need to be answered because you never know what might happen. He's been trapped there for a very long time and you never know what could happen. Well, how long do you think he's been in there? A long time. But by the way, you, you notice as I revealed years. the middle of the map, it, it, it revealed to Rampage that going down isn't the answer to get to the jail cell. <laughs> hmm? Because of how I revealed the path, I revealed that going down isn't the way to the jail cell. Okay. Because if you notice that that thing connects to two rooms that don't go any further south. <laughs> Whoops. Whatever. Alright. Wow, you know, I, I actually like had the next map ready after this, but uh I don't think I don't think we're gonna get to it. <laughs> not tonight. No, that definitely not. Was, uh... So all right, Chris. We're gonna sign out. Um, now. hold on. This this is my um. That is my damage roll for um the next uh. Two um two uh, million game sessions. That will always be my damage roll. Uh, <laughs> so, Chris, we figured it out. What's that? He actually gets he gets a plus eight to hit with his bow. Really? Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? adds up. And then as soon as he starts bouncing up in levels, that continues to go up. <laughs> well, that, that's okay, because I don't think he's ready for the next area. Hang on, I, I, I want you to see this. 
Look, look at my dexterity. <laughs> look, don't you think I may have a good, uh, don't you think I'm ready? All right, Chris. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Well, look at my dexterity. I think I, I think I'm set. Yeah, you yeah, think you're cool. set. Huh? Yeah, All I right. think I'm well, set. Well, uh, actually, okay. Rampage. Did you want to see the next area? Yes. You want a spoiler? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's your spoiler. <laughs> Wow! Oops. <laughs> Hello there, sir! <laughs> anyway, now you've seen your spoiler. <laughs> what, what happened to those hobbits? <laughs> to real next episode. <laughs> we get through this. Show me that again! <laughs> oh, you want to see it again? Okay. Yeah. What? How? What is that? What is this dude? Is he like the king? And is this his bodyguard? Um, the guy on the right is uh, Malakaz, the marked. And the guy in the center is the spoiler. With an awesome top hat. I yeah, I, I gave all the orcs, orcs top hats. I, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I just think nice. it's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> so, this is, um, I'm just gonna, this is my plan. Sprint as fast as I can. Okay, that is, that is my plan when we get there. I will tell Billy. Okay, let's let's go. <laughs> so I mean, at least you know I had a plan. <laughs> a fairly deadly plan. DK, I have a question. Are you just trying to kill us all? No. Then why do you have that there? What? Have what? There? What? What? It, why would you have that there if you don't want us to die? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, so you're in a dungeon right now, and you're totally fine. <laughs> We're gonna sign out. We'll chat with you soon. Okay. By the way, are you keeping track of the uh, the orcs and goblins that all are killing? Do we need to? <laughs> I think you're all oh, gonna level. Okay, up. I, I, you know, I what? think, I, I think just after it. you complete this dungeon, I'm just gonna level y'all up again. <laughs> no. Okay. I've been keeping track of this actually. Uh huh. So we killed. Around 20, 20 in 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 the dungeon. I think there were five on each side, five of the green guys on each side, outside, and one yellow guy, and then inside. So that's ten green guys, one yellow guy. And then inside, there were in the first room there were two green guy plus the extra hidden one. And one yellow guy. Um, so that's two and uh, thirteen. So, so and then uh, behind the first door. The good news were, is I actually am recording this. Oh, are you, oh, you're recording it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I, I. <laughs> so and then behind the first door, there were two yellow guys. I'm sorry, the second door, there were two yellow guys. Um, and then behind them, there were... There was one, two, and then five? There was five behind the second door. Where they all rushed at us and hid. So there were two no, first yeah, I, I'm going to just check the recording. Um, by the way, did you all notice the title card change? No. Okay, some red text was added to the title card that says spoiler. Yep. It said mm -hmm. the spoiler and the amulet, right? Yeah. Because it was the. That's who we're after right now. Oh, so that massive dude is, is the spoiler dude. Uh, well, y you remember there's this one word named the despoiler. Yep. 
Okay. So, all right, dude. We'll talk right. to you soon. Thanks talk so to much. you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.